The intention of all the data that's being gathered and the information that's being gathered, especially as it relates to the impacts to climate change on coastal zone and fisheries and vulnerable groups, specifically uh, women, indigenous communities, youth, it's to help prepare future projects and future plans. So it's very important in that they all, there are different pieces to like a puzzle that will connect together in providing guidance for national direction for building resilience, building adaptation within the fishery sector and within coastal communities for climate change. They're all public documents once okay. they're completed, but they are going to be primarily used by the government department, but also the stakeholders will have copies. And as we move forward developing the Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, we will be having them available for use by others. So they provide information that they can use in building other projects. For example, we're also looking, as you are aware of, deep slope fishing. Uh, that is being funded through IDB in partnership with Japan. Under that program, they need to do a gender assessment. Now, rather than duplicate the activity, we're going to take the data that's taken from here and present that as the findings for that. Another activity that we're looking at potentially in the future for the fisheries sector is value-added products. The findings from this program will assist with that. The stakeholder engagement will aid the ministry in moving forward with engagement with stakeholders across the board because it is a multi-sector approach for blue economy development. So everything, again, as I said, is a puzzle piece. Yeah. So our aim is to build onto each other. So no document, no assessment that gets done sits on the table. It's all connected to another piece in the puzzle to help build one, the longevity and the viability of the sector, and two, promote economic growth within Belize's blue economy.